the back leg. Thank you. Uh, Clam, clam the horse now. Clam now. Yeah, this is short. Hi, hi guys. You wouldn't believe that in my 35 years of living, ah, this is the first time I'm getting on a horse. Yeah. Okay, we are the other backpackers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come here. Come now. Come, come here. Come from small now. Because no, no come now. Because hey, you are doing no, video no. now. Allow me. Okay, come, come, it's video now. Come, come, Simon. Come, come now. Come, Simon, please. No, nothing will happen. Come. Come now, it's video now that you are doing. Eh? Come, Simon, now. Have you started? See now, started. Since come now. Come, Simon, please. Allow me. Allow me, no more. I want no more. You can do it, baby. Go, 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 go. Hold this one. Okay, so on our way I'm to the uh, she's cloud. And the mommy is at part two. And this is our visual transportation. And this is more how I can't take quest. Hey, <laughs> hello and welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to take a look at a special town in taraba state called gembu so gembu is the headquarters is the administrative headquarters of southern local government area in taraba state which was formerly known as the mambila plateau so i know like me like me a lot of nigerians will think that when they hear the mambila plateau it is in just um, place to state, but no, the Mambila Plateau is in Taraba State and it is supposedly the coldest region in the country. If you have seen my Obudu video or if you've been to Obudu, this is a replica of Obudu. So come along with me. This is an aerial view of Gimbo. We found there's a university that is affiliated with the University of Jos here in Gimbo. So we are proceeding now to a point that is really beautiful, one of the highest points on this mountain to take photos. On our way, we came across these women who are going to the market or returning from the farm with these baskets. These baskets are synonymous with the town or the village of Gimbo. So these are some of the pictures I took and it felt like I was in the cloud. I was really happy. Later on in the day, we proceeded to hike the highest mountains. That is the Kimura Mountains on the side of Gimbo. And of course, I'm hunting for one of my favorite oh, foods. My favorite <laughs> foods, <laughs> guava. Look! Look! I'm in the heavens, guys. Send me to God. Send a message. I'll tell him I'm close to him right now. They do like that now. Nah, you are not they do like that now. Nah. Uh, come down now. Uh. <laughs> we'll keep our line now. <laughs> you go follow. Hey, How is that? Holy well. Holy well. Holy well. well. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. nice. yeah, just go. The 19th day of September 2020 and I'm on the highest point in the west of Africa. Aside from the Cameroon Mountains, and this place is called Leme Albu Yobuza. Yes. <laughs> and it is in Gembu. Mm. The um Sardana local government. The the what Sardana local government of the Mambila Patu in Taraba State. Oh my god. Aside this is the highest settlement. You can see 
you can see settlement all over the place so the Cameroon mountain is actually um, higher than this but people don't live there people just go there for tourist attractions but here people actually live here so it took us it's about it's about maybe 10 hours to get to this point to get to where we can to get to the motorable point mm. from 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 um what's the name of that place from from town from the town from mm. the lowlands so yeah. i'm 10 hours away from you can you believe that and um it's been an exciting journey um i've trekked i've walked i've climbed i've climbed yeah i went on a horse <laughs> of course you're going to see that video and it was exciting it was scary but it was exciting thinking about it now so this place is supposed to be the coldest point in the country but um, apparently weather changes and today isn't cold as you can see but it's windy if you've been to Obudu or if you've seen my Obudu video this is a much um, bigger bigger version of that and the people here are really friendly I've made some friends and I'm trying to buy a horse for Nicole <laughs> If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe, like, share, comment, and be into my other content. Tell me if you like it. Thank you. Yeah, one of my wishes in life is to be more sitting but unfortunately I'm not. But I'm with these nice guys that are Fulani and they're going to teach me the Fufu their language. So if I want to say my name is Mary, what do I say? India. India. Mary. That means my name is Mary. And if I want to say how are you? No, no bye and I'll say jam. Jump, 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 it's fine. <laughs> I'm excited. So, we have five tribes in the Mambila Plateau alone. So, they're going to help me list the tribes. So, there's five. Nigeria is diverse, which is what I keep trying to tell you people. And in the Mambila Plateau alone, we have five, five, five tribes. And they speak different. That means we have more. We have more, but we have five major tribes, and they speak different languages. The language of the Fulani, which is the origin of the, or, the origin of the people that I'm with, is the Fufunde. So you need to understand that Nigeria is diverse, and as such, general generalization doesn't really go well with everybody. Imagine meeting somebody who is Fuf who speaks Fufunde and is from the Mambila Plateau, somewhere um, in the east or in the west and then you actually are able to differentiate that they are a different people for they are not just houses not everybody not everybody from the north is houses it will make the person feel like oh i belong they, 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 they're not going to feel like they're not going to feel marginalized so let us learn to appreciate the diversity in our country i hope you've enjoyed this vlog so far if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe like share comment and binge on my other content thank you guys so this is kumbi it's a vegetable that is um, peculiar to this place to the mambila plateau this is their native leaf please bring the cornstarch let me show them so you pluck it like this do you cut it mm. you cut it yeah you cut it my dad mm. please bring your corn bring that bowl of cornstarch you want to come and enter my video so this is corn starch and I'm asking yeah. to have a little of it. My hands are dirty. But look, we heard of corn starch and these people process it from scratch to this. And it is used to make swallow, right? That is used to eat this soup. I wish it was ready already so that I can eat it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. A clinic. Rambo, come in for me now. Oh. That's where we came from, like behind this mountain. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, catch up on the other episodes of the Taraba experience, as well as other videos on my channel. And let me know what your favorite is. Bye, guys. I love you guys. <laughs>